Hello friends, uh, Anand again. Uh, so uh, this is my next video uh, <clears throat> to learn uh, React Native. Uh, this video is not for experts and uh, uh, masters in React Native or in the mobile development uh, area. So this video just uh, for learning purpose. I'm just learning React Native. So I'm just sharing how I learned uh, the react native stuff uh, so this video is only for the beginners and the persons who are really willing to learn so in the previous video I just learned uh, how to uh, you know write the uh, react Na navigator so so I hope this is the the app I, I just created in my last uh, learning uh, this is for the iOS and this is for the the Android so in this video, I'm gonna try the I18N, the internationalization. So <clears throat> there is a React Native I18 node module already available. So I'm gonna use this npm package. Uh, this is really an easy way to implement uh, React Native uh, in our applications. So in order to do that, uh, we need to install it uh, using the npm install. I already uh, inside my Bitcoin uh, project. Uh, so just created two tabs. One is for the uh, iOS, the, the other one is for the Android. So let me start building it. So npm install uh, react native i18n. So I18N is nothing but the <clears throat> uh, the 18 is the number of letters between I and N in the internationalization world. So <clears throat> so if you wish to provide your app for multiple uh, language users, like if your uh, if your app uh, needs to support multiple languages, then uh, we need to uh, implement the I18N as well as the localization so this is the i18n <clears throat> so internationalization so this is like uh, i and then 18 letters and then n that's that's that is called i18n okay so just uh, install it so after installed uh, we need to link it uh, using the react native command so I'm using React Native uh, 50 version 50, so which is greater than 0.29. So uh, so I should use this command to link uh, <clears throat> into my iOS as well as my Android projects. So if if I couldn't uh, do it, then I think I need to do it manually. Like there are they have provided a manual setup as well. So let's try with the link. <clears throat> Or is missing <clears throat> react native link scan folders okay the link is successful then um, now I'm going to run the react native run iOS to reinstall the app into my uh, iOS device the iOS emulator as well as the same stuff over here react native run android to reinstall i already launched the simulator the ios simulator as well as the android simulator so let's see and while it's being you can see it's being reinstalled so while it's being uh, reinstalled now we need to do some other stuff uh, so i already created a folder called i18n and uh, stored uh, uh, three different JavaScript files. Uh, one is for English. I'm gonna simply say like a, a simple greeting message in three different languages. Uh, greeting in English as hi, and then in French bonjour, and then in Tamil, one of my favorite language and my language. So it's wanna come. Uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, so I just created these three, uh, but if I wanna use these three, uh, first I need to import. Uh, these three files in my app.js so let me import all this so english from so app.js is over here and then uh, the i18 is 
or here so from the current directory src folder and then i 18 n folder and then en this is to import the english.js and the same thing for the french and then for the tunnel that's it okay uh, so I have imported so for now we need to check whether the react native i18n is uh, installed into our node modules hopefully it should have been installed uh, since uh, it was successful <coughs> react native yeah oh, here we go so this is the place uh, so I think uh, we need to import the i18 okay so the class is import i caps 18n from react native i18 n that's it and let's go to the uh, their site how they documented yeah the same stuff over here and then uh, <clears throat> I think we need these stuff uh, to use so i18 dot fallbacks to true enables if I want English US and uh, Great Britain English uh, to fall back to EN so okay let me copy this part and then we save it into my app.js so here I'm not using like this uh, since we are using separate JavaScript files I'm gonna remove these things I'm simply gonna use like this en fr and then ta that's it so let me refresh my screen okay so it's fine and then I'll even over here open the Bitcoin project <coughs> okay that's fine so now uh, I think instead of registered let me change with the register then you know uh, okay so instead of greeting let me go with registered control E register The same stuff over here. Probably register and then in Tamil. So I need this stuff translated. So let me use the Google Translator. Google Translate. Uh, register. So translate to French. Okay, let me copy this and then paste it into the French. So this is the French area. And then let me translate to Tamil. It's Padibu. Okay. And then in Tamil. That's it. So so we only uh, imported the I18 class. So I think uh, over here we need to go like this. I18 dot translate and then uh, register is the keyword. And let me check their website for the documentation. Yeah, it's simply like this. I18 then translate greeting. So by default, it uses the uh, uh, the default language English. But if you want to uh, use like separate uh, languages, I think you need to pass the locale uh, as a parameter. 
Okay, so let's try with the material equal to French. Yeah, let me refresh the screen. Can't find variable register. That's interesting. Uh, register. Probably register. Okay. Can't find variable register. What they're telling, I don't know. Uh, it's en t dot greeting. Okay, I think I need to pass with the uh, single quote. Mm -hmm. And they have the documentation over here. So locale, we are setting the locale over here. A18. That's fine. Um, and then, mm -hmm. yeah, here we go. I think we need to pass like this. Uh, it's expecting a semicolon or sorry, it's expecting the single quotes or double quotes. So I need to pass like this. And then the syntax for the locale. So the second parameter is as number of parameters. So let me pass us like this. Then I refresh. Okay, unexpected token, line number 53. What is that unexpected token? Okay, I think it should be within the... Come on, dude, cool. So here we go. So this is in French as registry. So let me change to Tamil. Locale as tunnel. Padibu. That's really cool. Okay. So we made our very first uh, uh, stuff over here to, you know, I think we need to write some state. Uh, we need to set it uh, whatever the language we want to set, you know, when the user wants to modify. So let me add some more stuff over here. Um, let me add the home and login as well. <clears throat> so home and then uh, login okay so I need to translate one more time home okay <clears throat> Okay, boom. and then uh, login. This is all right. Okay, so this is for Tamil. And then uh, so I want to let me copy only these two words. And this is for French. And this is for English. So let me have it as home. And then login as login. I just want to uh, have some translation for the French. So let me change to French. Okay. Uh, is for this since it has a uh, single quotes I'm gonna use double quotes over here so that uh, the word won't be broken and then the next one is the home so. okay 
and then uh, let me modify this one so okay and then refresh let's uh, refresh screen control m reload <clears throat> and then in my app.js I'm gonna use this entire stuff home this would be home and then this will be login okay let's see we'll go to login yeah the title is Ulnurai internal and then Mugapur and then you can see Tamil character over here uh, that's nice um, and let me change to French now let's test one more time um, with my Android emulator yeah French registry identifier and then okay and then the same thing can be viewed over here this tray if I go home cool uh, so thanks friend um, so I think I learned how to use the internationalization the i18n uh, so it's really good um, our mobile app supports multiple languages based on the, the location and the region uh, to help the users uh, or the native uh, speakers so thank you very much for watching uh, mm -hmm. if you like the video please uh, like the video if you have some comments please provide the comments if you if you want to uh, comment to improve anything just let me know I will improve whatever in future and um, again this is for the learning purpose nothing to do with anything so thank you very much for watching